In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail. And um, this is targeted for beginners that haven't uh, done any thumbnails before. So that means they probably haven't touched uh, Paint.net or another editing program before. So I'm gonna try to explain everything I do as uh, good as possible without, without dragging it out too much. One thing though, for this video I'm actually gonna use uh, a few plugins, maybe one or two, but they are really useful for making thumbnails. You can find the link in the description uh, to this page and uh, here you can download it. And here it is, just open it and uh, run the installer. Then you should have the plugins needed for this tutorial. And here's the interface. Before we do anything, we need to change the size of uh, the image. As you can see, it's not... Uh, it's uh, a bit more squared than we, we, than we want to. Uh, what we need to do is uh, click on image up here and click on re resize and here we're gonna uh, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and type in 1280 by 720 because that's the resolution for youtube thumbnails you could go up to 1920 by 1080 that is uh, 1080p but since the limit for uh, the file is quite low uh, it is just more safe to put it put it on 1280 by 720 and you won't notice it. it. The thumbnail is so small anyway, so you won't notice the difference. This is what I put it at and just click OK. Now it's a bit more... Uh, now it's probably the same size as your monitor if you have just a standard uh, uh, widescreen monitor. This is for beginners, so what I'm gonna show is like how to add uh, an image and how to like add text and uh, drop shadow so it's easier to read the text. Okay, so let's say you're a cooking channel and uh, and you want to make a thumbnail and like add some text and stuff. So uh, first of all, you need an image. So I'm gonna assume you have an image on your computer right now and if you have it on your desktop like this, you can just drag it in like that and click add layer. And now you'll see that it's this image is way too big, like the size is different than everything right now. If that happens, we need to undo and do that again, but click on open instead. And that opens a new project. You see, this is where we will make our thumbnail, and this is a completely different project separate from it. What we can do is hit Ctrl C on your keyboard and go to your project here and just hit Ctrl V. To paste it and then make sure to keep canvas size now it looks like this uh, because it's uh, way too big so if we uh, zoom out by holding down control and scrolling you'll see here is the image and here is the thumbnail size so we need to make it smaller just uh, hold the shift and drag uh, this corner and if we don't hold shift you will stretch it and make it look very weird like that. We don't want that, so hold shift while doing it. So we want it like that, and then we can zoom in again. Hold hold control and scroll. Or you could you could also use it down here, but I like to hold control and scroll. And to and one thing too, to pan around, hold down your scroll button and then mouse around. So now we're gonna drag this up so we can well see the burger. And make sure uh, it's it's uh, not like that. We need we need to there we go. Maybe we, we need to make it. We can make it a bit smaller, but don't make sure it's make sure it fills up the entire canvas. We could move it a bit uh, to the left here, and then and then we could actually uh, use this selection tool, rectangle select, and select this part. Like that. It doesn't matter if I selected a bit of uh, the white here. And now pick the move selected pixels tool. And then just drag it. Uh, as you can see it looks quite bad. It looks quite stretched and stuff. Like here and stuff. But now if we deselect up here. And pick, uh, and pick the clone stamp. And uh, change the brush width to maybe... 55 no okay that's way too small uh 250 yeah or maybe a bit smaller like 150 yeah okay, let's go with that and bring down the hardness to uh, zero and now hold control and 
just right uh, and just uh, le left click and now uh, paint over here where it's like stretched and stuff now it will copy from uh, the left uh, ring we can set it down again by clicking control and now we will on the left click not not control like that so we'll like get some texture back in the background like that now it looks quite good and you could and you could like mistake this for being regular wood and now we have a room to add some text here so now we want to well <laughs> add some text so we need to first we want to add a new layer so so we can't mess up the image we have here you see we have uh, we're in a separate layer which is basically a separate piece of paper which you can't mess up the other one you can't mess up the other one which is really good so now we need uh, to use well the text tool and uh, we need to choose a we need to choose a good font and if you don't have a good one if you don't have good ones installed you can go to dafont.com let's try this one i think it could work with the burger and here we have it just open it here it is and install we don't even have to uh, close paint.net or anything we can just go to fonts here and it should should be here if i can remember the name it's in al alphabetical order so there okay here it is i forgot to mention it you can scroll to uh, increase the size if you don't want to uh, use the drop down hold control and scroll to zoom in since it's a very dark and black background we should uh, we should have a white text here. Just pick white. What should we call? It? What should it say? Best burger. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let's call it best burger. You can also experiment with the alignment. So maybe like that. I kind of like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. Now I have a thumbnail. That was quite. That wasn't too hard, right? I didn't get to um, uh, show you the plugins uh, I was supposed to show you. So let's make another thumbnail. I should probably mention how to save this. So just go to file, save as. It will create an entirely new file instead of saving to an old one if you already worked on something. So click save as. The file format should be on should be PNG or JPEG, but choose PNG. PNG works good for thumbnails. Burger thumbnail. There we go. And now click on flatten so these two layers become one layer, a single image. There we go. And now I'm gonna make another thumbnail and use the plugins I was supposed to show. Uh, so let's make a new project. Just click here, new. And we want the size to be 1280 by 720, like that. Let's say uh, you're a gaming channel, you're a Minecraft channel, and you do building time lapse or like. You build on your, you you make your buildings on your, uh, on your channel, and uh, you want to, well, have your building in your thumbnail and maybe some text. Here we have an example. It's uh, my friend, uh, my friend Martin uh, made made this build. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. If you play Minecraft, I'll have his Planet Minecraft in the description. I, I clicked open, so I got a new project here because, as you can see, the resolution is way too big. So press Control C again, like that. Go back to go back to our project here and press Control V, and keep canvas size. Zoom out, Control and scroll, and hold Shift and uh, make it smaller. If we zoom into this corner, we can align it perfectly. If, if we want to, you don't have to be that precise. You, it, nobody nobody will notice if it's a bit out. But make sure it fills the entire canvas so it doesn't look like this. So there we go. Now we can zoom out again. Pan by holding your scroll button. Zoom out a bit, like that, and deselect up here. There we go. So we want to add some text to this. We also need to make room for the text. So I think we should pick the Move Selected Pixels tool and uh, left click, hold Shift and drag this point, like that. We may have a bit more to the right. Sorry, uh, left I mean uh, undo. You can undo up here. Uh, a bit more to the left here. I think that's good now. So let's deselect. And now we have room up here to add some text without uh, blocking uh, the boat. So remember to add a new layer. Uh, I think we want some white text on this image too because uh, white text is appealing in thumbnails. We probably want a different uh, font. Let's see if I already have a good one. Let's use Dimbo. I, I use it a lot actually. Cilia line like that. There should be a good spot. 
maybe a bit smaller and if you want to make it smaller without let's see oh let's say oh i've already i've already finished it now i can't uh, I, I can't edit it now but just go just pick this tool again and left click and make it smaller so now we're gonna add a drop shadows so go, go to effects up here and don't worry about this i have a lot of plugins installed but just go to object and object shadow and i'm i'm gonna assume you have downloaded the plugin and installed it since i showed that in the beginning uh, so let's see i think we wanted something like that maybe i'll make it a bit more intense when you're happy just press ok and that's it i'm actually gonna undo and show you another one object outline object which is you could like make a hard line you can make a hard uh, outline of the text if you want that instead but i'm gonna cancel and redo just press redo here so i can get this back so that's how to make uh, youtube thumbnails in paint.net i hope i explained good enough uh, so uh, so if you, even if you haven't used this program before you should hopefully i hope you could uh, follow along and uh, do this <laughs> I, I hope so if you have any questions uh, just leave a comment and i'll try to answer it as best as i can and yeah, that's it for the video, so thanks so much for watching and bye!